Hey guys, so in the previous lesson, we started looking at ratio scales. Ratio scales are things like where you see one and then they say 10,000, for example. And we looked specifically at using a map. I'll show you on the previous. Remember in the last lesson, we looked at these maps and I asked you to calculate some distances and we used a ruler. But now we're going to move on to part two. So remember, we said that there were three different parts and we looked at part one in the first lesson scale given find the real world distance that's what we did in the last lesson okay so that is now done now in this part two we're going to be focusing on um we might even do part three but if not that'll be our next lesson uh so we're gonna okay so you'll see an example now but they're gonna give us the real world distance and then you need to find the map distance so it's the complete opposite of what we did over here here they gave us the real world, or here they said, find the real world distance. Now they're saying, find the map distance. Okay, so we don't need a map for this one. So they said, the real world distance from a point A to a point B is two kilometers. Okay, so that's the real world. So in real life, from A to B is two kilometers. Okay, determine the length in centimeters on a map. Okay. So this is the real world. So that's in the real world. Maybe this is you, your house and this is your friend's house and it's a two kilometer. But now if we put that on the map, they want to know what is that distance going to be? How many centimeters will it be? So they've told us the scale over here. So the scale is one to 50,000. Okay. This is always the map. And then this is always the real world. So all I want you to think about is to go from to go from the real world back to the map, what do you have to do? You have to divide by 50,000 because if you divide if you divide this by 50,000, it will become a 1, okay? So to go from there to there, you divide by 50,000. So to go from the real world to the map, what do you have to do? Divide by 50,000. So what we, but they want the answer in centimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this real world number and we're going to get it into centimeters. Okay. So we're going to try to convert that to centimeters. So we need to know our conversions. Now remember when we're looking at distances, we've got kilometers, then we've got meters, centimeters, and millimeters. Now the numbers in between are a thousand, a hundred, and ten. Now when you go this way, you multiply. And when you go this way, you divide. So we're going from kilometers to centimeters. So we've got kilometers and we're going to centimeters. So we're going towards the right hand side. And so we will multiply. So we will say two multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 100. And if we calculate that, that'll give us 200,000 centimeters. So that is also the real world length. We just changed it from kilometers to centimeters. So now we have the real world length in centimeters. So to go from the real world to the map, you simply have to divide by 50,000. So we're now going to say 200,000 divided by 50,000, and that will give us four centimeters. And that will be the map distance. So if we had a map, you would measure four centimeters with your ruler, four centimeters, and then that would be two kilometers in real life. Okay, let's do another example. The real world distance from a point A to a point B is 800 meters. Okay, so the real world, it's 800 meters. Determine the length in centimeters on a map. Okay, so let's just quickly change this into centimeters. So for that, we use our scales or our conversions again. All right. So we are going from meters to centimeters. So we're going to the right. And so we're going to multiply with 100. And so we're going to say 800, and we're going to multiply that with 100. And that's going to give us 80,000 centimeters. Now, that is still the real world. We've just converted from kilometers to centimeters. So they told us that the scale is 1 to 10,000. So 1 to 10,000. So this is the real world and this is the map. So to go from the real world, how do you take 10,000 and how do you change that to a 1? 
or you would divide by 10,000. So to go from the real to the map, you will divide by 10,000. So we're going to take this 80,000 and we're going to divide it by 10,000 and that will give us 8 and that will be in centimeters.